Welcome back. You're still tuned into Taking Stock on CNBC TV 18. Well, we're now joined by Jay Bala of 1857 Advisors. Jay, hi. Good to see you in today. Before I get Tokyo, the Nifty, I wanted to start by talking about uh, HCL Tech, which has had a very disappointing session because of the guidance warning that came in uh, on Wednesday evening. Your thoughts on the charts? Yeah, the CNX IT index as such is facing an important resistance around 12,000 mark. So um, um, we were expecting the frontline stocks like uh, Infi and TCS to uh, uh, get into some sort of action, but uh, HCL Tech has got into uh, that uh, uh, you know, resistance and faced some significant uh, down move. I think it needs to, we need to be quite careful here in the IT space and with specific to HCL Tech. Uh, that's probably uh, is, is showing signs of um, uh, early signs of weakness. So stay away from the stock at the moment. We need a little more time for, for us to assess. If we see the uh, CNX IT index fall below 11,700, I think um, uh, uh, this could be a, 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 a quite a bit of drag for the whole sector to drop to something like 11,000 for the whole index. So we need, to, but it could be just a short to medium term correction, not a long term trend change. Okay, Jay, hi, welcome to the show. Uh, what about the index itself? You know, last week after the RBI cut the rates, what the Nifty managed to do is at least defend that 75, 7600 level. Uh, do you get a sense that the index is going to trend up from here? Yeah, there are a couple of possibilities for the uh, index. Uh, one is a bearish possibility, one is a, a, a bullish possibility, which says the market has already seen a final low and the uptrend has resumed. Uh, for the first case is that, you know, um, if it's still got uh, further lows to come through, I don't think it's going to go much lower than the 7540 uh, levels that we saw uh, a few weeks back. Uh, it'll be just a 50-60 points low below that and then it'll resume the uptrend, which is what we've been insisting for uh, several weeks now. But if the market has actually uh, fallen short, uh, of the final leg uh, objective at 7691. The, the, this is a typical uh, thing that happens in the final leg of a correction. Markets tend to fall short of the, ultim, uh, the ideal targets. So if it has done that, we want to see the Nifty close above 8054 for a couple of days. If, if it does that, I think uh, the, we will call this as a truncation of the final leg and uh, we will we, we'll get ready to be bullish on the markets from overall sense. Now, we had also highlighted a couple of weeks ago that the bank Nifty is performing slightly better than the uh, Nifty. So if the bank Nifty is going to, uh, is actually uh, driving an important message by not going below uh, significant support. So if the bank Nifty again uh, takes lead, I think uh, it will give another indication that the uh, final low of this correction is already in. Okay. Uh, Jen, when you speak about an uptrend beyond 8,000, what is the level on the Nifty do you think we can recapture maybe by the year end? Yeah, I think uh, you know if uh, uh, you know we need to first look at the you know reparation work that the market needs to do. It's got a, it's had a, a significant amount of damage from 9119 to 7540. So the short term resistance are placed somewhere about uh, 8225 80 to 8300. If that is taken out in the short term, I think in the, uh, by the year end we are looking at uh, uh, the record highs itself. But you know uh, we, that was our projection back in June. But once the market went below 7940, we said. The correction is a little bit undone, and we need to we need to complete that correction. And once that is done, the long-term uptrend is intact. We still have, are of the same opinion, but it may not come by the year end. Maybe sometime by Jan, Feb, it's likely postponed by a couple of months. So we are looking at record highs once again. But don't preempt the market. Let the market say it has stabilized. It has done the reparation work. Let it cross, um, you know, 8200, 8300. Once it's done that, we can be clear that the all-time rec uh, record highs are back on the table. Okay, so don't preempt the market, but then let's talk about individual stocks, Jay. You know, the, in the week gone by, the, the sector of the week clearly was pharma. I mean, Lupin has hit a fresh lifetime high. You saw so much traction in names like Dishman Pharma, etc. Any fresh uh, trading ideas that you'd, that you'd recommend there? Yeah, stick to frontline pharma names, um, barring Sun Pharma. Sun Pharma, uh, you know, it could just have a relief rally close to uh, 1,000. But uh, if you stick to uh, Supla, Lupin and Dr. Reddy, it's quite bullish out there. I'm looking at record highs for Dr. Reddy, somewhere uh, close to 4,600 plus. Uh, Supla, once again, we've been maintaining a target uh, of over 800 plus. Uh, so there's no change in that. So, you know, uh, once the uh, frontline pharma name starts moving, we can start looking at the second line pharma names. But until that, stick to the frontline pharma names. Okay. Any levels on the Bank Nifty and the Bank Nifty constituents? 
Yeah, uh, 16,700 on the bank duty is a very significant support. It has taken support there. And we had, you know, uh, uh, last week said that the bank nifty would clock a higher low even if the nifty were to go below 7540. It's actually sh sh showing a positive signs so far. But once the bank nifty can take out 17,700 to 17,800 on the way up, I think it, it's quite positive for the bank nifty. And we can look at, you know, um, uh, levels of 19,000 plus once it starts going above that level. So be patient. Uh, you know, it, it's all looking positive, but let, let us not uh, preempt the market. Once again, that's the same thing I'm saying. Okay, so let us not preempt the market. But uh, you know, if we had to, if you had to be given a blank check and uh, advise some trading ideas from the frontliners or for the mid caps next week, uh, what would your two or three top ideas be? Yeah, I'm positive on the uh, pharma name. We have discussed a few names there, I, and I'm also positive on uh, FMCG. I think. Um, uh, HUL has put in a significant low for the medium term. I think if it were to uh, uh, stay above 820 for a couple of sessions, I think uh, we can look at record highs uh, beyond 1000 for uh, HUL. So that will be a top pick there. And if you look at mid cap space, I'm still bullish on the uh, mid cap cement. Um, uh, JK Lakshmi cement and uh, Mangalam cements are my top pick out there. I think they have something like 40 to 50 percent upsides from current level. Uh, but they are already stabilizing. I think we can even go ahead and pull the trigger for in, in the mid-cap names. Okay. Well, cement stocks are, are finding some favor. What about telecom? We had idea which shot up around 7-odd percent in this previous week. Anything you like within telecom which provides confidence? Yeah, uh, a couple of names I've been mentioning, uh, you know, I had said idea uh, cellular was finding a significant uh, support around 135, 140 levels. And I had said that, you know, if it were to close above 157, I think uh, 210 will be back on the table for idea. And I, on a long term basis, I've been bullish on uh, Alcom. I, I've been maintaining a target of about 165 plus uh, from a 9 to 12 months uh, time, time frame. But, you know, it's showing good signs so far. Wait for Alcom to uh, close above 75. So the, all the negative, uh, all, the alternate bearish scenarios can be eliminated once uh, Arcom closes above 75. And uh, the same for IDEA. IDEA, I think it's already stabilized. Uh, these two frontline uh, names are quite positive in the telecom, telecom names. Okay, so that's a long list of stocks that you've given us. But finally, before we let you go, Jay, uh, you know, you were telling us that 8,054 is the level to watch on the upside, which if it gets conquered, you'll see more on the way up. But what about on the way down? Uh, has the base for this market moved up? And if yes, what is the uh, sort of durable flow for the market now? Yeah, it, it, is, it is a bit, you know, uh, you know, uh, not, uh, you know, I can't take a clear stand at the moment because, you know, um, uh, we want a certain price action to complete, certain form for the market to complete. I think, uh, so that is why I'm looking at 8054. So even if uh, the alternate scenario says that the market is going to go slightly below the 7540 uh, lows it made a few weeks ago, I think it's not going to go much below um, 7480, 7470, those sort of zone. So I think, you know, we are in the last leg of the, you know, down move or the, the down move is already done. So, you know, we, we can start deploying uh, capital somewhere in the ratio of about 20 to 30% and then wait for the markets to say, uh, give further clues and then we can uh, pull the trigger further. Okay, Jay, we leave it at that. We have a long weekend here, so we're going to run along and enjoy our weekend. But thanks so much for giving us your views. Uh, with that, it's a wrap on this edition of Taking Stock from Ekta and myself. Have a great weekend. We'll see you again on Monday.